what I want to do is a walk around of the uh, 1940 Chrysler Windsor and you might have already seen the video I did uh, about a week or so ago of the car driving. Uh, we were out riding around out in the country a little bit and uh, just shot that with my phone so I thought I'd get my GoPro out and give you a little better look and a little better close-up look of the car uh, from the outside. One of the things you'll notice about uh, this car that I've always liked is is all the lines and all the gaps on it are really nice. The fenders fit well. The grill is absolutely perfect. There's not a ding or a dent uh, in any of the the trim. Maybe just a little bit right there in the front, but it's in fabulous shape. Uh, the front bumper and the chrome on this car is just amazing. There's very little pitting. There's a little spot right here uh, of rust. But for the most part, the chrome is in fantastic shape. I would have to believe almost that that chrome was was replated at some point. You can see a little bit of pitting and rust on the inside here, where it was uh, looks to be you know an original piece. But but as far as the chrome goes, absolutely fantastic. Um, the tires on it are the uh, Silvertown. Uh, bias ply BF Goodrich and are in really good shape. Uh, it's a load range B and 16 inch tire. The, the wide white walls are a little bit, uh, you can see a little bit of weathering on those, but as far as the, the tire itself, um, the tread and everything, absolutely great condition. All four tires and the spare in the trunk is, is brand new. Uh, again, everything lines up nicely. The car is super solid. You know, it doesn't sound like there's any any bondo in it. The the lips are rolled nicely on the fenders. Uh, the beading is nice. The trim and the glass in this car. You look at the glass. There's no fogging. Uh, there's a little bit of separation on two of these wind wings. This one being the worst here. Uh, the windshield is in perfect condition. No marks from the wipers. It does need wiper blades. Uh, a couple of really nice. GE spotlights uh, with the, the the Mopar on the top here. These spotlights are not hooked up, but all the other lights work. The headlights work. The tail light, the license plate light, uh, and all the gauges work in the car too. We'll start it up here in just a second, and you can see that. Again, another spotlight, very nice condition. Has the Mopar on the top of it. Um, running boards are a little bit dry, cracked here. And the underneath, and you can see from the other pictures, uh, the frame's in great shape, the outriggers, and everything that holds up the running boards, uh, very good condition. The car has almost no rust in it. There's a little patch panel in the floor in the driver's side. You can see that from the pictures that someone welded in. Um, but other than that, really solid. The, uh, the paint on the top surface, as you can see, has been weathered. Faded here, really weathered here. And I think the worst part of it is the right back here by the rear window. Um, this is really solid metal. You can still see it's even a little bit silverish here. It's, not, it's just a surface rust on it almost, but there's nothing on it that has, has degraded in terms of the lip and so forth. I would think you could take this window out, refinish this metal, and, and prep the surface for paint, and it'd be fine. Or leave it as it is. The roof's the same way. You can still see some silver here. It's just surface rust on the roof. Roof is very solid, but the same same condition as the trunk. You come down the hood here, you can see just a little bit of weathering here on the hood, uh, and the same on the other side, just a little bit on the other side. Another thing that works really nicely on this car and is all 100% complete, little weathering here, uh, are the hood latches and the way the hood mechanism operates. Pull that lever here, you lift it up, that latch catches right there. Uh, and I'll open the other side, we'll get a little more light on the engine, we'll come back around. Um, but the hood is in absolutely fantastic condition. So one of the things that you'll notice too on this side, also the same lever, works perfectly and goes right up, got the same catch. Got your horns here, uh, original 6 volt generator system and carburetor. I don't know if the carburetor is original or not, but it runs very well. Um, there's nothing that's really been disturbed under here, too. If you look at it, it looks all completely original. 
as far as I know, and I'm not an expert, but uh, the thing that I know in terms of the original originality of it is, and I don't know if you can see this here or not, but right here on this stamp pad, uh, it has the uh, 41015 uh, with the prefix C25-41015, which matches the VIN of the car and the VIN on the title. So this is the original uh, block that was born with the car in 1940. Motor runs super, doesn't smoke, doesn't leak oil. Uh, you could run and drive this car anywhere as is, and, and I have. Uh, it's been off the road. We've got paperwork with it, too, uh, that's in the dash of the previous owner uh, in 2008 um, when this car was on the road. hasn't been licensed since 2008, and uh, I've had it in storage, and it's just it's time to sell it. Let's take a look at the inside. Inside was, I would guess, would, was redone in vinyl, the front seat, the back seat. Uh, the headliner's fallen. The headliner's in good condition, um, but the, it's come loose from the wires. You can feel the wires up there too. So the headlight, the, the, the visors, the headliner, everything's in good shape, but it has fallen down. Door panels are in vinyl uh, and carpeting. And let's go ahead and start it up. And one of the things you'll notice too, this car has an overdrive uh, transmission. You pull it and it shifts in and out of overdrive um, and that works. Brakes are good. Uh, the clutch seems to work well. The emergency brake holds very well. It's tight and one of the remarkable things is that every gauge in this car works. The, uh, the temp gauge, the amp gauge, the oil gauge runs about 40 pounds hot at idle and the fuel gauge. Matter of fact, I just took it out and put some fuel in it. It was getting near empty and it's now about half a tank. So let's uh, make sure we're neutral here. Turn the key on, hit the button, car's running. Super smooth. And you can see the amp gauge. I don't know if you can get a good look at it right there, maybe here. Uh, it does. As I speed up the idle, you can see it move, and the regulator works too. So now that I just started it, it's up a little bit higher, but as the car warms up, it'll come on down and be about neutral. Temperature, uh, it's a little cold. I just pulled it out of the garage, uh, but it'll come up to about 170, 180, just past the 160 mark here. And the oil, like I said, it uh, stays about 40 pounds, and the fuel gauge is right at about half. And as you can see in the other video that the uh, the speedometer works too. The steering wheel is not in bad shape, it's a couple of cracks, but nothing coming apart or falling off of it. Uh, these are the, the Mopar GE spots right here and right here. And, and believe it or not, the windshield wipers work. You can turn them on, they'll park on their own and stop. And I don't want to run too much. The, the rubber is about gone on them so they don't scratch the glass, but the windshield wipers work perfectly too. Uh, let me show you under the hood. Doors close really nicely. And all the rubber inside the doors, if you look at the rubber, uh, someone has probably replaced it, but it's not all cracked. It's very soft and pliable and supple. Same with the rubber on the trunk. Doors close great. Uh, here's the engine, and it has an exhaust leak where the pipe collects to the uh, manifold on the other side. So it does sound a little bit, a little bit loud. You can hear the exhaust leak, maybe. But the, but the motor runs great. Super slick and smooth. And let me go over to the other side and give you a look over there. You can probably hear that exhaust leak, which is right down here. Uh, I can feel it right here on this side. So it's got, needs a gasket replacement on the exhaust. Okay. Come back down the side here. We'll give you a look at the, the top surface. Look at the rear tire. And I don't know if you can see up in the fender well or not, but uh, very complete. No rust anywhere to be seen. And there's some pictures of the frame you'll see in the in the uh, in, in the in the photos. Over on the back side. Back bumper is nice too, but not as nice as the front. You've got one little spot here where we've got some rust. But 
but that's pretty much uh, uh, the Chrysler Windsor. I'm gonna do is close the hood. Latches latch. I'll go ahead and turn the headlights on so you can see those too. The windows roll up and down nicely. Down and up. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the, the uh, headlights on. It's high beams and low beams work. And as I mentioned in the back, uh, both taillights work. And uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, there's the license plate light and the other taillight. But that's about it. And like I said, there was a running uh, video that you can look at. But since we're here, let's go ahead and We'll just put it in reverse, take the brake off, we'll just back up a little bit here in the driveway. Come to the stop, go forward, see the speedometer coming up. Come to a stop. Back back up a little bit. And come to a stop. Put a brake on. Car has two sets of keys. Uh, another thing too you might find interesting is that it has a his and her heater. There's one heater under here and then there's the exact mirror image kind of duplicate model under here so it has his and her heaters this one's hooked up there's no hoses on the other one on that side um, as you can see our temperature maybe has come up a little bit here to just over 160 oil pressure is still at 40 at idle you run it up a little bit you can see it goes up uh, fuel gauge is just a little over half a tank as I mentioned we just took it out and put some gas in it um, and of course the speedometer works you've got your headlight indicator here your overdrive indicator uh, right there and the dash the glove box there's a whole pa old paperwork in here I'll put some pictures of that up there uh, also uh, some registration documentation and so forth from uh, 2008 when it was last on the road so anyway that'll uh, that'll about do it uh, for your kind of just a outside view of the Chrysler Windsor